guys so welcome back to part number five. Oh my goodness part number five no really yeah hey oh, wow five yeah cool okay <laughs> of let's play the um i need some sleep of let's play the sims 4 and get to work i am totally not gonna even edit that out because that is like legit my crazy self but anyway we're gonna just kind of hop straight on into the goodness and that is simply the first case assignment your training is complete and it's time for you to run your own case you'll have to gather evidence uncover clues track down your suspect and get them to confess to their crimes this is not an easy job but if you do well you'll be making the community a safer place good luck detective okay so here we are yesterday was like literally fail like like fail after fail after fail for some reason i just couldn't get it together and get it to work so everybody's on these computers like i really wish <laughs> i'm just saying like i had a designated spot for me it would be like very 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 like nice i guess it'd be the, like the least thing that they could do but every time i come in here all the computers are taken he wants to eat a prepaid meal or pre-made meal prepaid <laughs> yeah actually technically it is prepaid um really 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 bad but we're not gonna ah we're not gonna have him do that he just needs to get his little caboosey to work and then once he's done he hasn't even taken a freaking shower or anything um but he needs to get a criminals oh start a case map how do we do this like how do you do that travel to crime scene i don't understand okay and then what then what then what i don't understand uh set up the crime set up the crime map for the current case i don't understand where you set up the crime map what are you doing right now you're doing test analyzer what te what are you test analyzing and who the hell you said you could do that this guy's got a mind of his own all right so what we need to do is get criminals um we need to get a criminal's finger prints and it appears like the same chick that we once knew is back in here lindsay pitts just can't stay out of the damn pit literally like no pun intended. Like, she just can't for some reason. Speaking of pits, yours are on fuego, Poppy. Okay? Muy caliente. All right. Muy fuji. Um, let's go have him strut his stuff over to the civilian and get her um, her take on what has happened here. Okay. I like to rip your jeans. Did you get in a fight with Pitbull? No? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, hey. Hi, Kirsten. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What? I know. My feet. They stink. I might have a case of green green. I don't know. All right. So let me get um, this chick's finger print. Yes. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know who the hell the criminal is. I, I don't know. They're, this is so confusing. Like, is there actually somebody here that is a criminal that committed these crimes? Why are your hands like that? Oh, what, you're not going to work now? Oh, you're not going to work now? What's going on? Let's try this one more time. Like, seriously, this is, like, the first glitch ever. She, like, stuck her arms out like a baby, like I was going to pick her up or something. Um, all right, let's go take her to get her fingerprints done. I can actually in extend my work day. Oh, okay, click this button to leave work early or stay late. I may actually have to do that today. I don't know. Why do you always look so sad? Don't you know that the, the cap has a little thing for you? A little thing, but yeah, I want to actually do a friendly introduction. Like, I think she's really cute. Hey, hey, hey. He wants to, uh, he needs to exercise for an hour. All right, so let me go and um, lock her in her cell. Uh, I really need to know where the hell we start the, like, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like there's this little missing bit that we're not getting. Like, there's something very important that Jennifer is missing. Um, and I don't know what it is. I just can't seem to figure it out. So, all right, let's go ahead and put her back in the jail. All right, Mr. Stinky Pits over here. Um, and this chick is very... Are you in the jail cell with her? Okay, I was going to say, damn, you better run. Discuss, discuss case theories with coworkers. Let's do it. Uh, I don't want to talk to you, though. Uh, let's go ahead and discuss it with this chick over here. I don't know. She just seems like an interesting lady. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Hopefully today will be a much better work day. I would really like it if I got my full, and you're probably wondering how we got 17,000. I will explain that later. Okay. Um, okay. So we discussed our little thingy-majigger. Okay. We need to take another civilian report. I need to start a case map, but I need a freaking computer. So travel to the crime scene. Um, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's go travel to that damn crime scene. I don't know if I can do it from my phone or what, but we're going to go do that right now and he smells so freaking bad he's extremely 
flippin' uncomfortable too. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna travel to the crime scene, inspect the area. If you hear background noise and just noise in general, it's my mom and my son, and they're really loud and, and local crazy, and you know, it is what it is. Sounds like two elephants in a trunk. All right, so here we are at the crime scene. All right, uh, looks like this lady is passed out. I swear she's like an, I think, I think she's the criminal because I swear to you every time she is here. What is wrong with this TV? We need to dust it for fingerprints. Um, apparently I just took a shower in somebody else's shower. That's awesome. Get a witness, a report from a witness. Talk to witnesses and get reports on the crime. So there's an invisible TV here and apparently we, um, there's a lot of invisible things and I don't know if this is a glitch or like this is something, this is weird. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why things are like invisible or something. That is really weird. All right, so let me go and uh, take his witness report. This chick's passed out. Like I'm not even really worried about it too much, but let me go. I really do think that these two are severe. I keep seeing these three Sims and it makes me feel like they are, they're in on something. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like they're doing something wrong. Uh, let me go and take a a, okay, can I search for clues? Let's do that. Let's search for some damn clues. I don't know what we're doing. We're looking at the ground. We're searching. Do we see anything? All right. Okay, I don't think that really did much. Uh, how do we take a picture? Uh, look for evidence and then take a picture of it. I don't see any evidence, though. That's the thing. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. We found some evidence. So let's go ahead and take evidence. Take crime scene scene pictures. There we go. We got that. Get another witness report. So let's go ahead and ask this lady real fast what the deal is. Okay, so we got that. Take more pictures at the crime scene. We've already taken photos. There is no more photo. Oh, actually there is. Jen, you just have to look a little bit harder. Okay, here we go. This guy out here looks very suspicious. Oh, and we got to pee. We are just a wreck. We are just a wreck. And all he can think about is his daughter, Nyla. Aw. Get another... Witness report. Finally, this chick. I mean, maybe they're just going through a really severe breakup right now, and I'm just not understanding what's going on. Like, because they've been fighting, they've been beating each other up. Like, I'm, I am, but I'm kind of confused because he's married. <laughs> so, what do you guys think's going on here? Like, I don't know. I don't understand who's a criminal, who did what. You know what I mean? I'm really, like, actually kind of confused right now. So, we need to take another picture. But I don't see any other photos this time for reals. Like, I don't see... Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Collect evidence sample. Oh, my goodness. I think we got something here. Oh, we did. We got... Oh, it's in our inventory. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, wait. We already performed that. So where would be another place to take pictures of evidence? Because there's only that spot here and that spot there. All right. So start... Okay, I guess we're going to take a shower, too. That's really freaking sweet. Um... I don't think there's any other thing that we can take a picture of, but I'm still peeking. Still peeking. No, nope, don't think I see anything. All right, so he really needs to use the restroom, so I'm going to let him go use the bathroom on their jaw in there. So take more pictures. Look for evidence. I am trying to. So let's go search for some damn clues. Let's, like, search for more clues. Let's search for clues in the, in the bedroom since we did search for clues out there. So let's go in the bedroom and search for clues. Oops. I see something. Let's go ahead and take a evidence picture. Ha ha ha. We have actually found another piece of evidence. So I think there, oh, we're not done. Okay, so let's go to the bathroom, search for clues as well. Uh, do we see anything? I don't think we do. Um, let's go outside and search for clues then. If there's anything. Oh, there's another one. That one's brand new. Okay, so let's do that. I don't see anything there either. All right, so we've taken a lot of crime scene photos. I don't know how this is actually going to help, but I think that really did help out. So we're gonna go return back to the police station. Um, and sorry, I don't know where I was. My son just actually told me he's gonna go with grandma to the car wash. So go to the, go with grandma to the car wash. 
you must go. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and actually stay late. We are going to go ahead and stay late just for another hour. We need this. We need this. We need this. We need this. We're going to go and analyze our evidence and uh, see if we can get any good leads from that. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and share with you guys why we have $17,000 and a couple other cool things that we'll be doing in the Get to Work Let's Play. I am having so much fun with this LP. I hope you guys are too. Just letting you know, I have pre-filmed up until this point. So, like, all your suggestions and comments, they're not all for nothing. Uh, just so you know, um, I am taking each one into consideration. And I totally appreciate all your love and feedback. It literally means the absolute freaking world to me. And I love having your guys' support. Yes, I do. Support. We'll call it support. Um, all right. So, let's see if we got anything from this guy here. Piece numero uno. Looks like it actually failed. So let's go ahead and analyze these fingerprints and see if we get anything actually good. We have one hour. So I don't know if it if it's actually popping up that we've got anything, but we'll see how it works here. So we ended up getting one clue from one of those pieces of evidence, which is really, really, really helpful. We need to hurry up and take in a... Um, or uh, we need to search one of these criminals here from the booking cell. So let's go ahead and search this subject here. Her name is Alejandra. She actually reminds me of, I think, Daya in Orange is the New Black. Like, I'm not even joking. She kind of reminds me of her. And he smells so freaking bad. Uh, Nyla is actually going to work for her first shift, I think. So it's pretty exciting. Um, she'll be really happy when she comes home because we're going to have a little bit of a surprise for her. Uh, all right. So we are just about done. I just want to get this over with. We have done a great job today we've put in a full day of work i'm even then a little extra so i hope what are you doing um i hope that we actually get a little extra cash from staying late i think we should we should make well over 300 dollars today if not more so i'm really excited to uh see how this all works out so we're gonna just we have 30 more minutes here i'm gonna let him go ahead and um use the bathroom just take care of his needs as far as I'm concerned we have we've worked pretty hard today and we don't really need to put any extra any extra effort I don't think I think we should have we should have done pretty well anyway oh oh my god we got promoted oh my goodness okay so ace ha 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 been promoted to officer ace did a fantastic job today he has been promoted to officer he will make an additional eight dollars per an hour for a grand total of 28 dollars per an hour he has received 180 dollars new clothes oh yay and his new shift will begin um on thursday at 8 a.m so it looks like he's only earned 234 dollars um which is kind of lame i felt like he would have gotten a little more than that but uh, hey you know at least we've been promoted i mean gosh like that's awesome you know um to be now we are official now we are an official officer like literally we're not a cadet anymore we have made it to the big leagues okay so um he is in the red but this <laughs> speaking of red this is our new home our old one is actually right there so ace has made the um, ultra, well not the ultra, but the ultimate sacrifice and decided to go ahead and sell his old home for something not only a little more, um, I guess, you know, adult and less bachelor pad-esque, but a, a house that, you know, they can, the, the, the kids, that the he can really grow into. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of like his, his way of growing up and, 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 you know, just maturing i guess because this house looks more of like a, a family home instead of a bachelor pad like the other one did where nyla was like pretty much tucked in the freaking corner um she <clears throat> is gonna be really excited because all the money that we have earned we're gonna go and purchase uh, a realtor a realtor a realtor store and this is nyla's room right here i think it just looks so much more colorful and so much more her and she's got her like photos here and so much more room on her walls and uh, this is actually his room it's not as you know shiny and awesome looking but we even have a spare room for who knows what we could use it for and we have eighteen thousand dollars so poor dude has actually fallen asleep here uh i'm gonna go and have him hurry up with this freaking um bath or whatever the hell he needs to actually wake up and go take a shower or something uh but i think we're gonna go purchase the retail store right now um i don't know if we are going to purchase the lot in Magnolia promenade a promenade um but I think we might 
I think we might, when we have the money, you know, and I kind of want to do it there. So let's go do that. I mean, she's going to be so freaking excited to like set up her studio. Hell yes. And we have $15,000 left. Like, how exciting is that? Like, I have so much excitement. I cannot believe that our girl finally has a retail store. So, um, okay. Oh, all right. So we have a fund system. And uh, I kind of want to transfer uh, transfer a lot more than $2,500. We're probably going to do, we'll start off with ten grand. Um, I feel like that's going to be a good amount for the retail store. I want you guys to go ahead and give me name suggestions for our retail store in the comments down below. Um, and then that way we can kind of, you know, have some idea of what we're going to name Nyla. It's basically Nyla's studio, but I mean... You can call it whatever you want. You know, it's like a family owned business, but it's for Nyla. It's for Nyla's future and her kid's future and stuff like that. That's so freaking awesome. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of whip up something real quick and I'll show you what I got. OK, just because I wanted to share with you guys some of the new items that come with Get to Work. Here is the studio um, set. So this is pretty much Nyla's setup so far. It's a small little studio. This is where she's going to take pictures of other Sims and things of that sort. Over here is kind of like her retail area. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of decorate that really quick. And um, this is all of the items like there are so many new items like there's retail signs you have different types of towers um, pedestals there's the um lice cold retail freezer which is interesting you've got your mannequins your displays all these different kind of like corner displays and things like that these are freaking epic i love these the cash register and then some other stuff that's also kind of blocked off you've got some neon signs and things of that jazz I love these so freaking much. So I'm actually just about done with, um, this is just the retail stuff. Like this isn't everything. And there's like the little bakery stand too. Um, but like, I'm not done totally, I'm not, but like, I'm not done. Uh, I'm not finished. No, no, I'm definitely not finished quite yet, but, uh, I'm going to see what else I can put in here. I don't know if there's like a, you know, for business sign or anything. Like I'm not, I'm not really seeing it or anything like that. So I kind of want to put like a little a little sign on her store, like right there. Even though it doesn't really look like a studio quite yet, it will. We still have a lot more that we need to add on here because she is going to be here for quite a while. So um, there's the sale board. It says, sometimes customers are too shy or preoccupied to ask you about your goods. With this sign, conveys your... With this sign, convey your store's wares to even the most introverted Patreons. I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing quite yet. Um, exactly. I mean, I know we're going to be selling like her, her pictures and things like that, but I don't know if I need anything else. Doesn't seem like I do. Uh, so pretty much like this is what we've got going on. I don't know really where to go from here. I do know that, you know, she's going to be here for a while, we probably need a bathroom and I'm going to do like the cheapest flipping bathroom like ever. So I'm going to put the bathroom right there. So then that way, if you know, anybody needs to use the restroom or whatever they can. All right. So let's just go ahead and kind of finish this up. Um, I'm going to see what else we need to do or have Mr. Um, Mr. Ace do for his daughter because he gets to actually show this, share this with her, but I don't know if she's going to come see it tonight or or what she's going to do, but we'll definitely have to have her take a peek at it. It'll be very exciting to reveal this to her. This is like her dream and for her dad to like sell his own. I say like a lot. I know it's just like one of those things. It's just like one of those things um, that I keep saying. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, but for her dad to do this for her, it's just such a, a beautiful gesture of kindness. And she appreciates it. Oh, so flippin' much. Like, oh, so flippin' much. So I'm excited. I'm totally excited to see how this place kind of comes together. And who knows? I don't know where to go from here when it comes to the retail stuff. Like, we probably will sell pictures and stuff. We won't sell paintings or anything because I think that's going to be Amelia's genre. Um, but uh, for now, anyway, this will totally work out nicely, I think. And then I'm just going to fix this bathroom so that everything is kosher and where it should be. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this is literally her space um, to do what she needs to do. I don't know how to 
set the hours okay this is already the front door set for sale no definitely not gonna set that for sale um okay so set okay got it okay 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 so if we come over here we need to put some lights in here too like the only lights that are kind of shining right now are definitely these guys so let's go grab some lights and i like that the little trolley passes by that's so nice i like this oh, 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 oh. so excited so so excited uh these little panel lights let's see do we have any like we could do studio lights for sure those look beautiful give us great lighting um here's the industrial lights we've got these little weird ones again we are kind of running low on funds so i would prefer to have something cheap and uh affordable at this point so i'm gonna go and put this in here and then i'm gonna do i'm gonna do two of these lights right now okay so not really the nicest thing that you ever did see but it kind of works right okie dokie uh, so we need to set the store prices, and then we do employee uniforms, um, open the store, we can sell the store, transfer retail funds. Um, it is 11 right now, and so, what? I have $5,000? Oh, because we're, are we, oh, we're taking out of our, oh. Okay, current retail store funds. I don't know why these got switched around. Transfer retail funds, household funds. I don't know why they got switched around. That's kind of weird. Uh, but I'm going to have bring Nyla Cole right here. And he's going to go and show her her brand new store. That's what she's going to do. So he's going to go ahead and give her a freaking huge hug. I am so excited for them. And obviously, she's really freaking excited and appreciates it. So I'm going to see if she can set the backdrop. We're going to do um, a party backdrop. And we're going to just kind of test this out really fast. And we're going to take a photo of um, Ace Culliver. He's going to be our first, our first photograph. And we can also, like... Now, I don't know if we can hire people, but we can pretend to hire people. And she wants to do something, or she wants to level up in uh, Charisma. So here she goes. This is her very own studio. This is what she's wanted. You guys are so freaking long. Um, I am loving it. And this is actually looks pretty damn good. So there she goes. She took a photo. Um, her dad's a handsome guy, so I don't see why that wouldn't that wouldn't um, that wouldn't go over big. Like I could see maybe. She's a little shaky. Um, I could see this one's selling kind of kind of well here. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a peek at our creation and what we've got going on here. Um, let's just open up the stack. So we've got a whole bunch of different photos. I don't know how we would totally need to paint these walls right now. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay, there we go. I don't know how we would um sell these. Okay, so the household funds. All right, I got it. It transfers between each other so these are like our little painting our little pictures like they're so freaking tiny i'm sure if we did bigger pictures it would look a lot nicer but we're gonna sell these i guess um and this and then not this one this is like our selfie but so far this is what we've got for sale and we're gonna set all these for sale uh, i don't know if anybody would actually buy any of these but in the next part we can totally um, test it out and then I wanted to frame these too but I don't think I can so we're just gonna leave them as is those are her painting or her photos right now we're gonna go and try another take another picture of him actually so let's do set the backdrop to white and then we're gonna take a photo of him again obviously and um, I don't know if I can do like a bigger size photo like this one is a pretty large photo so there we go we can also do that and his face is not <laughs> not cooperating right now but I'm loving this picture anyway I think it'd be a great one to sell uh, let me go and take a peek real quick and see what that looks like so this is actually a pretty large painting and then we can um, frame it like that and then sell it see this looks like a more like this looks like more like a this is more studio-esque in my personal opinion i don't know which one it was that we did but okay i think this one which one one is was it i don't remember okay oh it's right here i wonder if i could put this on the wall i'm gonna actually just move this over like that so this is way way nicer 
All right, there we go. So this is her little studio, and I'm loving the way this all looks right now. Uh, we're gonna set it for sale, and I'm gonna mark up our prices. We're gonna set store prices for a normal markup, nothing crazy. She just started this whole entire deal, but it'll be fun to like take care, uh, take photos of other customers and people and sell them. I don't know how much fun this is going to be, but it's definitely gonna be fun to give it a go and try. So obviously she's gonna come over here and um, she's gonna hug him. I, it's, it's her job to run the store, so she may quit her part-time job and just do this like after school and stuff, but um, I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna have time to run it. You know, definitely it's gonna be hard with him working and things of that sort, but it would be tons of fun just to give it a go. So uh, even, I think he gets off at like early too. So he gets off at like five, they can run the store at like five till whenever and they'll close on weekends or something like that. I'll figure it out. But um, let's go ahead and have them head on home since he's in a bad mood and it's quite late. Nyla is so flippin' excited for her studio and it's gonna give her a really um, great incentive to take other photos and, you know, kind of pursue this photography because her dad believes in her. Her dad's her number one fan and I think that is so precious to see how a father's love and support can really, you know, accomplish great things like it may not look like much to a lot of people but for her for Nyla this is a dream come true at such a young age so it'll be kind of fun to see her pursue other pursuits you never know they could have like a superstore they could like end up doing um even more different types of things or owning more stores or whatever the case is like I, I it would be cool to see them sell other things besides just the the photos but for right now We'll focus in on the photos and we can always expand from there. So, yeah, I'm really excited. What an interesting flipping part. So much went on. So much happened and it's very exciting. I'm so excited. All right. So we're going to have them go home. It is, it is super late and I'm tired and exhausted. And, uh, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm having a lot of fun, though. This is definitely... This is so worth it so far. I am like absolutely enjoying the living crap out of this. But we're going to have him go eat something really quick. Uh, whether it's just like a, a some cereal or what have you, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to let her have some cereal or yogurt and things of that jazz. But I don't know if she's going to continue on her job. Um, I think she's probably going to... What did he just do? Did he just... Yep, he just passed out on the floor. Oh, well, no, I left. Just keep eating. No big deal. All right, no. <laughs> Nope, just taking, checking my phone, checking my Twitter. Nope, nope, nothing there. Dad's passed out, butt in the air, like you just don't care. Mm -mm. All right, so let's go have her use the restroom, and she's going to go to sleep in her new comfy nest. And I think I'm actually, I don't know how long this part is, but I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below um, how you guys are enjoying Get to Work. Let me know, uh, you know, future suggestions for this LP and things of that sort. Also, don't forget to go ahead and let me know um, some names for, so some name suggestions for the store. Um, and then whenever I get those, I will probably name the store later on. So, um, yeah. All right. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. The sun does not shine. And as usual, boo-boo, I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.